And here the Podomovsky Oracle is uh, directed. And uh, I'm running my own uh, company that's Molecular Cloud. So, uh, just a few words. Uh, we are a small team of uh, people, and we are focusing on uh, quality work and uh, quality consulting. And uh, uh, also, I'm the author of uh, idea technical blog. And uh, this year, it will be uh, five years that I'm uh, posting a technical sample application. Okay. And uh, during this session, I will introduce you to my customer from South Africa. It's called the TEC system. Uh, and uh, I will show you, I will connect to VPN and to show you uh, what they are doing and how the production system looks. And uh, you, should, you should see that even over OPM, from, uh, over, over VPN from uh, South Africa, from so far away, it still works. Uh, hope you, uh, it will work during the demonstration. And uh, this company is, uh, the main business is uh, retail, and they have uh, a lot of uh, retail shops across South Africa and uh, uh, other African countries. They have the manufacturing companies, and uh, they, they implement the ERP system uh, by themselves using the EGF and Oracle System Stone. <coughs> okay, uh, now about uh, about what I'll talk today. Is, uh, first, I'll show you my customer demo, I'll show you the system, and then um, I'll explain uh, most of the important topics that were uh, implemented or uh, researched during uh, the system implementation. And uh, the same topics were applied in other projects as well. It, it, I'll talk about uh, the difference between perturbation and activation, and I'll demonstrate, demonstrate to one use case. Uh, we shall show you that uh, what you should avoid uh, doing when you develop uh, your system with ADM. Uh, then I will explain how you can manage uh, uh, database pool. And I will show that, uh, that there are some very useful uh, uh, properties in ADM business components. And uh, you, you, when you go to production, you must, uh, know, uh, you must know about these properties. Uh, then I will, will explain you how uh, Actually, how Oracle uh, implements Oracle applications and how we are implementing ADF applications for our customers to sell using ADF capsules uh, and, uh, and ADF usability on capsule level and on business component level. Uh, then I'll, I'll tell you how you can implement Oracle UI cell and how you can implement the uh, exception appendix in uh, Oracle UI cell and customized way that is not uh, described in documentation. And the last sample will be uh, placed on Oracle Web Center. And th my main idea is that uh, I will, in Oracle Web Center, I will reuse the same uh, idea platforms that I will, I will demonstrate you in uh, the uh, standard idea applications. The same platforms will be reused in uh, Web Center application. And in addition, I will show you how you can use contextual event framework in order to implement communication between those uh, ideas regions inside the uh, web center application. Also, it, 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 it will be still time I'll explain the difference between customization and customization and how those tools can be implemented in the uh, web center and how we can manage ideas uh, effectively. Okay, so uh, now let's see uh, if uh, I'll be able to connect to uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm using virtual machine. Let's activate VPN connection. <coughs> yeah, it's, it works. Let me take the URL of this system. And So now, when I, I log in here, because I'm using the VPN in some specific user, uh, this user is propagated to single phenomenon automatically to, into my ADF application, and they don't have a login screen. 
what we get here uh, in the system we default is uh, welcome, welcome screen uh, with uh, few uh, reasons. And then on the left, uh, on the left we have a dynamic menu uh, generated from a uh, database, it's basically uh, hierarchy from three. And uh, it generates a uh, menu. And then in that project we're using uh, Oracle UI shell to integrate all the uh, regions. Uh, let's say here on the, uh, we have menu items, and uh, each of the menu items uh, basically are open a uh, separate dynamic region in, inside our UI shell. And then I can see in the menu here below, like pricing, financing, uh, merchandising, operations, and then here in CMS. So uh, those, it's a panel of accordion components, and each of the elements of panel of accordion represents a separate application of, of the customer. Those customers have uh, different departments, and each department wants to have a uh, different application because they uh, deal with different uh, things. Uh, so we have uh, like a front page or a UI shell application that joins, uh, joins all departmental uh, applications into one, and uh, through dynamic menu we can uh, work with those applications. Uh, also, there is some uh, personalization that implemented with NVIDIA. Uh, for example, by default, we, uh, we are getting uh, search engine, uh, panel box, then uh, branch totals, and uh, branch job start uh, status. Uh, let's say that I don't want to see search engine. I can just remove it here. And uh, now let's uh, I just log out. And let's uh, say that I will begin again, and my personalization should be stored in NDS, and the user should uh, get only two uh, panel boxes uh, rendered. Yeah, it works uh, fine. So, uh, but uh, ADF and DF does not support by default uh, personalization for uh, dashboards and for panel boxes. So we have, we have customized uh, NDS, uh, standard NDS classes. Uh, Frank Hintz was describing earlier during the uh, session, and we are storing information about this dashboard in the database. And uh, then uh, when uh, this welcome screen is rendered, uh, NDS is reading uh, information about uh, what uh, panel boxes to display from database, and then we are rendering from the panel box. Okay, then we have, we have opened the menu. Uh, one of the current remaining implemented functionalities is uh, geography maintenance. Uh, I can open, uh, it consists of division, region, area, and store, and it's a hierarchical relationship. It is between all those four elements, so let's say uh, I will open the region. And we can see that we are not using breadcrumbs here, but we are using train component. And uh, since we opened region, uh, the, current, uh, the current state of train component is region, and user can easily navigate to division, area, or directly to branch. If user, uh, for example, okay, now I'll say that uh, I want to see uh, areas for region 4, so I select region 4 and uh, I will navigate to the next step and train component to area, and uh, it, uh, it will bring me only those areas uh, filtered by region 4. Here you can see, <coughs> filtered by region 4. Uh, but if I would go back to uh, region, again, and now I would not select any specific region from uh, left so, uh, column, but I would go directly to component and just will press on the area, uh, it, will, it, it will bring me all the areas uh, available in the system. And this functionality is, is, is quite uh, flexible because um, we are using the same area uh, region in both cases, when it's filtered and when it's not. Since we were uh, in ADF factor, we are using input parameters. And then we have a router, and based on uh, its 
Если про них и начинал, одно, и отсюда не одно. 